Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. We're live eight minutes into the second hour. Thank you for joining us on this Monday, May 3rd, 2010 edition. We've seen the Communist International Workers' Day riots, buildings being torched, uh, people being racially attacked all over the United States in an almost complete mainstream media blackout. It is in the AP, Associated Press. It is in some local uh, newspapers in California, Arizona, and other states. But it is not a big national news story. We need to force this out into the open. Can you imagine if Tea Partiers in Santa Cruz would have gone out and set fire to buildings, racially attacked people, and knocked out the windows of 18 plus businesses. They were saying 18, now they're saying 20 plus businesses. And the media is doing everything they can to spin this. We have a key article up on prisonplanet.com that's been, had videos added of other racial attacks and, and uh, just incredible things that are being said and done. Pro-illegal immigration thugs terrorize Santa Cruz, corporate media shrugs. Now, I want to put a photo up on screen from just one video that we were randomly watching. Uh, this one's out of Phoenix uh, with a sign. And, and shortly after this, they attacked police. And uh, this photo says, give us free housing. Uh, give, it says, give us free health care, jobs, no taxes, house, food. Wow. <laughs> You're not going to work. You're not going to pay taxes. You're, it says, give us free health care, jobs, no taxes, house, food. You owe us America. We will shoot more police in Arizona until we get free. And they're having cops all the time being killed in Arizona. That's why they've, every week or two, illegals kill another cop. And they burn down houses all over Arizona. One night, uh, a few years ago, 14 homes were burned in one night. Cattle are being shot. I mean, it is just total implosion. Mexico has collapsed. Uh, there is hardly anywhere that isn't safe. 20-plus thousand deaths in the last two years alone. Spilling across the border. Uh, and illegal aliens just running around, waving signs. Countless clips uh, where the illegal aliens uh, are saying that they want basically everything free. Let's go ahead and play this clip of the woman again right before they attack police uh, at that rally in Arizona saying, we will use our axes, our pickaxes, to kill you. Here it is. We will not stop. We will take up our shovels and our pickaxes and we break the land and make it landscaping and clean your toilets and our partners, we will use them against you. Believe that. Oh, ma'am, uh, I mean, we do believe you. Uh, I mean, I've got Albuquerque banks hit with brazen vandals. Uh, where is my, I can't even keep track of this anymore. Where is my, where is my stack about uh, the illegal aliens uh, attacking Santa Cruz and San Francisco. I mean, I can't even keep can't even keep track of it here. Meanwhile, if you send human rights observers down to Mexico, you get machine gunned. Uh, here's the Washington. Here's the Washington Post. Uh, here's uh, ABC News. What I'll do is I'm going to go to your calls and I'm going to dig around uh, in my stack and see. They're bringing me so many articles in so fast here. I'm going to find those three articles I had from the AP and others about the torches and the burning, the burning buildings. You know what? I, I am you three of those this morning. Just reprint them again. I've got to clean the desk off. This is only three days of broadcast here, and it just, it's become a complete mess uh, because of, well, the fact that I don't file this stuff. There's just too much to even keep track of. I'll get into this at the bottom of the hour. I'll just get into it at the, at the bottom of the hour. Uh, let's talk to John in Minnesota. You're on the air, John. Uh, uh, yes, uh, Alex. Do you believe uh, Goldman Sachs is a reincarnation of Don Pacifico? <laughs> uh, well, tell folks who Don Pacifico is. Well, uh, Don Pacifico was a Portuguese Jewish guy who uh, had lived in Gibraltar and acquired uh, uh, English or British uh, uh, citizenship. And uh, he had moved to uh, Athens, Greece, and he set up a good shylocking operation. And uh, 
anyways, the Greeks got very mad, and they burned down his house, and they took his money, etc. And this guy, he's suing the Greek government as an individual now for millions of pounds sterling. So who, who intervenes? Oh, not the Krauts. It's Lord Palmerston. It's the House of Lords. They happened to send 14 ships on uh, January 18th, 1850, to blockade until Greece paid up. I was not aware of that story. The, the name rung a slight bell uh, in the back of my mind, but uh, you'll have to send me an email about that. I appreciate your call. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Ross in Texas. Ross, you're on the air. Alex? Yes, sir. Oh, sir, it's, it's, a, it's an honor to speak with you. You're, you're one of my heroes. Um, we just like a voice in the wilderness crying out to the world. You know, when you think of heroes, you think of people like what Bush landing on an aircraft carrier or Cheney or something like that. And no, sir, we need people who speak the truth, and you are a, you're, you're, you're my hero. And anyway, my call is because I want to address the illegal alien situation. I, I, I believe people, we have to understand that these are all people. We're all part of God's creation. They're people. They're here because there's a reason for it. And if we allow the people who are in power to manipulate us by fighting with each other, then they don't have to, fight. They don't have to fire a shot. Second, when we talk about the money that's been given to the bankers, they won't tell us where it's been, where it's been distributed to. It's been given to the mercenaries. They're already in play. They've already been paid, and they're going to get more money when they start pulling the triggers. Third, really, really, people, we really need to be able to have our own water supply. We have to reclaim our water supplies. Now, the same fluoride injection systems will be used to... Alex, do you remember several years ago in, in the, uh, London when all those people got sick from that neurovirus? In two, in two weeks' time, 2.2 million people, I believe, were sickened. Think about that. That was, a, that was a beta test. Anyway, in closing, sir, I just think that, I think the world of you, and I just, I just thank Jesus that he's given us a voice to hear what's really going on. Thank you, sir. Well, Ross in Texas, I appreciate your call. Uh, we have to be specific, though. Notice how the media is demonizing tea parties, conservatives, libertarians, anybody who is against the banking takeover. And by saying that the Tea Parties were Republican in the last year and a half, the media created a self-fulfilling prophecy. Uh, that's what they were able to do because then Republicans, mainline Republicans, did go out and did join the Tea Parties and basically started taking it over because they were told by the media this is a Republican event when it should have been a not bipartisan but just populist movement. Okay. And so now they're trying to limit criticism of the banking takeover to something that Republicans are doing. Uh, when it's only common sense, this is something that affects everybody. And on the subject of illegal aliens, oh, most illegal aliens are just hardworking people wanting to send money home to their family. But because of the media and the public schools in Mexico and the U.S., the liberation theology they've been taught is that the Southwest belongs to Mexico, Mexico is poor, not because they've always been under colonial tyranny, uh, but because the United States is bad uh, and that this is their nation and that they have a right to everything for free. And so a large percentage, I wouldn't say the majority, but a large minority uh, of the illegal aliens are hardcore, just extremely hardcore radicals uh, that can't stand this country. And... They've been radicalized, and when they carry out radical attacks like burning buildings and racially attacking people, the media sweeps it under the rug. And people who think that the Republican Party is going to save them and stop all of this, it was in the Dallas Morning News in 2007 that Rob Allen & Co., this giant PR firm that Bush used when he was governor and then president, actually financed and funded the first illegal alien rallies around the country for amnesty. But it backfired. The illegals refused the American flags that Rob Allen and co. and others were giving them out of the backs of trucks and waved their Mexican flags. And so it backfired and uh, blew up in their face. And so now you have all of these business owners in Santa Cruz and other places, and we'll fast forward on this tape and show you some of that, uh, where you know, you know, people are running around uh, attacking structures, setting fires, 
And then the media just basically engages in a national cover-up of this. This should be national news. Uh, let's go to another uh, caller here. Let's talk to Paul in Tennessee. Paul, you're on the air. Am I on there, Alex? Yes, you are. All right, sir. I just wanted to say uh, you are the 21st century Thomas Jefferson. There's nobody else doing what you're doing right now. I do appreciate you. <clears throat> on the illegal alien um, situation here, um, I just wanted to read you briefly. I'll abridge it a little bit out of uh, the Daily Times in Blunt County, Tennessee. This happened on March 27th. Officer sees cash released two men. Monroe County authorities released two Mexican men without charges after seizing $105,000 in cash and several other items from their vehicle. The occupants, both Mexican nationals, explained they were on their way back to Mexico from a visit to New York City, where they had stayed for three days. Uh, Queen said he seized a total of uh, $104,990 in cash, along with a laptop, computer, Nikon camera, three cell phones, a GPS, and a Zonar recording device. 